So first we have Kiki Palmer's baby daddy acting a damn fool and trying to shame her and dull her shine. And now news has come forward from Sarah Brady, Jonah Hill's former partner, uh, saying that he was very uh, emotionally and verbally abusive towards her. And there are screenshots, you can probably search it up and find it on here, of him um, shaming her for um, dressing in a particular way, for dressing sexy. Okay, a lot of people say, well, there are plenty of pick me's out there that'll dress, you know, modestly and they will cover their whole bodies up. Why do they keep going after these bad bitches and then try to dull their shine? Here's the thing. Think about it like hunting, okay? Um, you don't want a deer that shows up at your front door and just lays on your mat, okay? You don't want to get rid of that and put that on your mantle. That's why they don't want the pick -me's. They're kind of like an easy target. They'll, they'll take advantage of them whenever they need a place to live or whatever. They want the deer that is legendary, that everybody around the lodge is saying is difficult to catch. They want to catch that one and then destroy it and then hang it on their mantle and show the world what they caught. They want the bad bitch to show their bros, hey, Look what my mediocre ass caught. And now, look at how I've domesticated her. Look at how I'm controlling her. Look at everything she's doing that I ask her to do. Look at how she has completely changed herself for me. She used to love to go out. She don't do that no more. She used to love her friends. She don't love them no more. She used to be so independent and now she's cooking my fucking dinner and washing my skid marked underwear. They want the woman that seems impossible to get so that they can pat themselves on the back for the fact that they brought her from a level 10 to the depths of hell where they live. This is why Pearl, after all these ridiculous proclamations she makes on these podcasts, is still single. Yeah, so don't get me wrong. They'll still marry the pick me and live with the pick me because she's just giving them easy service. Food, meals, child care, sex without the hassle, okay? But they're not going to stay with her for long or she'll always be on the back burner until they find their next challenge. So why don't men want the pick me's? Because they want to be able to brag to their friends that they snagged the baddest bitch in the neighborhood and then destroyed her.